Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. well. Let's see what's going on for us. Okay, at the time you watch this video, what's being highlighted for you for your highest good? We're starting with Harvey's. There we go. He had just settled, so I didn't want to push him off the table. But he is in raising hell mode, so just <laughs> fair warning, we may get interrupted. All right, so let's see what's going on for Pisces. So we've got good news with the star in the page of um, wands, king and queen of swords. So it could be good news to do with um, air sign in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be to do good, could be to do with, um, or an Aquarius is giving you good news with the star here as well, or anything to do with pacts, contracts, commitments either bringing them together or something being finalized in terms of if it's a separation, if it's a uh, divorce, if it's a, a dissolution of something, okay? All right, Pisces, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. There's definitely news, notifications of progress, victory, in terms of recognition, popularity, fame with the star, but also um, increase in finances, your reach, I hear. All right, so let's see what's going on for Pisces placements at the time they watch this video for their highest good, where they need to know. Take what resonates, Pisces, leave the rest. You're gonna have to use your own discernment, you know the drill. Hit that like button for me, hit subscribe if you haven't already, remember to click that bell so you get notified when I post. Thank you for your comments. Okay, your donations, your subscriptions, hold on. Okay. All right. There could be some sort of um, unexpected event happening today, or several unexpected events. It could be a day for serendipity. So just, I feel like I want to say just be ready to jump on opportunities when they present themselves because you won't see them coming and they won't be here for long. So that's interesting. All right. I think I got all the cards. Okay, Pisces. Let's begin. Going on for Pisces placements at the time they watch this video. What do they need to know for their highest good? This is, I think it's just called the gold foil tarot. I have a few that are just called that. Okay, so let's see. Four Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Movement, transition, travel could be significant, short distance travel, um, leaving something behind, making peace with the situation, leaving it behind, okay? Or making peace within a situation and leaving behind the conflict, we'll see. It'd be a nice change from that Five of Swords that we keep seeing, right? Current situation, the Page of Swords. Yeah, so there's some sort of tentative agreement, okay, with the pre-shuffle as well. There's some sort of tentative agreement or a tentative, um, like a ceasefire. Yes, Harvey. Um, where there's, okay, well, let's do this, but then everyone's kind of keeping their eye on the situation. There's also news, communication, some sort of notification with the page of swords. There's an energy of study, education. In the challenge position. Oh yeah, here we go. We have the death card, mummy. Your whiskers. Oh, give me strength. Okay. He's just been on a rampage all morning, so I just kind of, if he settles down somewhere, I try to just leave him be. Well, you're not very comfortable, I know, but do you do you want to go in your little bed? Okay. Sorry, guys. There you go. You can see his naughty face. Um, so in the challenge position with the death card, it has to do with an ending, a big ending, a big transition. So it could be contracts, um, either, again, to start something, because to start something, we'd have to end other things. So it could be to do with relocation with the Six of Swords. It could be to do with a very significant uh, ending in your life. And again, that could be like the ceasefire or someone's accepting a change. Okay, that could also be the case. And it's like, okay, I'll let you kind of, I'll follow along with what you're saying and see where it takes me, right? So someone relinquishing control in a situation or going, okay, let's try it your way and see where that goes, right? But there's a very tentative energy here. 
in the foundation we have the five of pentacles so there's been loss there's been no contact no communication there's been um hardship silence and i feel like someone's now willing and ready to go okay i'm willing to talk i'm tired of this so i'm tired of always losing or i'm tired of always missing out or i'm tired of always feeling like this or i'm tired of us not talking whatever the situation is right what do you think we should do? Page of Swords, Death card, to put an end to this phase or this conflict or this tension. Because remember, it's about Six of Swords here. Yeah, recent past, we have the Six of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, blast from the past. This is also reminiscing. So for some of you, this has to do with Harvey. Um, there's been some reminiscing or someone's come across some pictures or some messages or some whatever it is and it made them think about the happy times and then that that made them look at the current situation and go okay that's not worth it i want to go back to the happy times i want to recapture that i want to uh restart that and so there may be incoming communication what can we do to fix this or what can we do to uh end the end the tension and the conflict on the mind, yeah, Ten of Cups. Someone wants to come home, reconciliation, back to happier times, get the family back together, just get along, to be accepted, to be embraced, to be appreciated, loved, valued. Okay, and then in the outcome here, we have the Page of Cups. Here's that communication towards healing, coming together with Temperance and Knight of Pentacles, and moving on from the situation, making solid progress so we don't have to go back here again, right? Learning from this, growing from this, moving on properly from this. Um, but I feel like it's part of someone just having to grow up a little bit with the death card here. For those of you, this is about an ending that happened and someone has been punishing you for that ending. So if you decided, I'm going to move, someone's been punishing you for choosing yourself and choosing to move away or choosing to change jobs or choosing to um, change something within your dynamic somehow where it, it can't go back to the way it used to be, right? Um, or it's a case of they have an issue with the fact that you didn't consult with them, right? And so they may feel betrayed. Remember, these can always be reversed. If you have been given someone the silent treatment over a big decision they have made that has impacted your relationship your dynamic there could be just spontaneous communication um, happening at this time but it looks like someone is now willing to entertain okay how do we move on from this how do we move on from this okay so let's see let's clarify for Pisces what is this about page of swords in the current situation yeah look ten of swords Someone feels, you or someone else, but there's a feeling of betrayal here, of I didn't get a say, I feel left behind. Death card in the challenge position, judgment. Yeah, look, this is starting fresh, starting over, reconciliation, um, raising something from the dead, okay. So if this is someone that has been just challenging a big change you've been trying to make so just not going with it like not 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 on the boat they're not in the boat okay they're not in the same boat as you with the six swords right um and they've been angry and they've been playing victim and they've been um anything from punishing you however that resonates either giving you the silent treatment or talking bad about you or constantly trying to sabotage you whatever this is okay it came from a place of frustration and anger to do with this big change or to do with this big decision that you made. Five of Pentacles in the foundation, Ten of Wands. But whoever it is that is punishing the other uh, person or the other party, it's been a burden. It has been a very heavy burden not to talk to you, not to reach out, not to try to work through this or vice versa, right? For others of you, this is about relocation and um, someone has been kind of kicking off as they say because it's like well what am I going to do now because I was counting on that money or I was count counting on you paying that bill or I was counting on you just being there and help me out 
um, around the house or around the yard or whatever. And you said, well, I got this job or I got accepted into that school or I got accepted into that program or I'm moving in with my partner or I'm moving in with my friends. I want to start this new chapter in my life. Um, and yeah, whoever it is that's getting left behind here, they felt very strongly about it. Six of Cups in the recent past. Yeah, I love the devil. Someone's been trying to keep things as they were. You've been trying to change things, to grow, to improve, to have some freedom, or to just give yourself the freedom to start something different, start something new. And this is someone who has been fighting that every step of the way. They haven't released you. They haven't wanted to release you. They haven't wanted to accept your, your decision. And it, it's, a, it's an obsession with keeping things as they are with the Devil and the Six of Cups. Keeping things as they are. Keeping things as they've always been. And I see you took a pretty strong stand in the situation. So if they gave you the silent treatment, you didn't try to work it out. You didn't try to reach out. You didn't try to be the bigger person. You said, listen, this is what's happening. I've taken time. I've assessed this. I know that's the right thing to do. I'm, I know I'm not in the wrong here. I know I deserve to do this. If you have issues with it, you're just going to have to figure it out for yourself, right? So you didn't go chasing. You didn't go running to explain yourself or to convince this person or to whatever, right? And that led to some sort of silent games being played here some sort of no contact some sort of mind games right i'm not going to reach out they should reach out and then you're going listen they're playing games maybe they're a little bit immature they just need to deal with it on their own i i'm not doing anything wrong so i'm not going to go out of my way to explain myself or defend myself right because remember by the time it got to them the decision had been made the change had been made or things were put in motion right Ten of Cups on the mind. <laughs> yeah, here it is, the Five of Swords. Tension, conflict, bitterness, pettiness, how dare you, how could you type of conversations. But with the Six of Swords, like I say, someone is, I think they're finally willing to entertain. Okay, how do we move on from this? I see that this isn't going anywhere. I see you're not going to change your mind. I don't want to actually lose you over this. I thought you'd come back or I thought, you know, you'd, it, it would, you would change your mind if I said some things or whatever. And I see that that's not the case. So I don't want to lose you. So what's your way of doing things? Harvey. Page of Cups, Temperance, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is making you very happy. You're like, yeah, sound, happy days, having my cake and eating it too, right? So I, I, I'm getting what I wanted, wanted, wanted to get out of the situation. I'm doing what I wanted to do here. And you're getting on board with it, right? They are reluctant. They're tentative, Four of Cups but they want to find the balance. They want to give and receive. They want to meet in the middle, right? Reluctantly, but like I say, they're like, okay, let's try it your way and see what that does, right? Have you, mommy? What else for Pisces? Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Hermit. So things can now move forward things can now pick up speed there's a lot of communication back and forth so it's almost like now they're wanting to know okay tell me more about this new beginning tell me more about what you're doing i want to understand it right so if you've changed your job and someone had took offense to took it personally somehow right it could be someone you used to work with or a manager or a co-worker and they're like how dare you leave me in here in this unpleasant environment i thought we just had each other how dare you pick and just pick up and leave right and now they're going, okay, tell me more about this job. Is there room for me? Like, are they still hiring? What are you, wanted, what are you doing? What's, what are the requirements? What's your day-to-day? -day? What's, you know, they want to learn more about what, are, what you're doing. This could be where you told your family, hey, I'm going to move in with this partner, right? my, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, whatever, my partner. And they refused to deal with it. They didn't want to accept it. Either they didn't accept the person or they didn't accept your decision or whatever this is right and now they're going okay well um, I see you're not backing down I see you're not going to change your mind I see you mean this and you truly want to pursue this 
I don't want to lose you, right? Or the family saying, we don't want to lose you. We don't want this tension to continue. We don't want this silence to continue. So then there's a meeting of the minds. There's a, the apology potentially with the Page of Cups and Temperance or an invitation to, hey, can we have coffee and talk? Or can we, you know what I mean? And then it leads to, okay, so tell me more about this person then. I want to get to know them. If they're so important to you and they're going to be around for a while, I want to get to know more about them, right? So it's that kind of an energy. But it's nice. It's nice. It's peaceful. And the, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Hierophant. Yeah, this has to do with you stepping away from an old way of doing things or something that was seen as tradition or cultural expectation or family expectation. Um, same old, same old, how it's always been done, right? Other people's expectations of you. And you stepped away from that, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands. You didn't make a scene. You tried not to make a scene. You tried not to make a fuss, right? Seven of Swords there with the Nine of Wands. But if they didn't get it, like I say, you took a stand. You decided, okay, this is my hill. I'm not backing down. I'm, this is what I really want to do. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this. I've spent a lot of time researching this. I've spent a lot of time contemplating this, right? I know it's the right thing to do for me. I know it's what makes me happy. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. So I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to defend myself here. You either get it or you don't. Or, you know, I'm not going to keep explaining myself till I'm blue in the face. We both know that this is something that's meant to happen or this is something that is good for me or this is something that I'm not doing to hurt you. Like, we both know that. So what you do with, with that is your choice. And you kind of left them with it, right? So whoever they are in your life, you may uh, hear from them or there may be some sort of spontaneous message or it's good news it's pleasant in nature and it leads to talking about getting together talking about meeting up talking about having coffee and then that leads to balancing things out making peace and then okay tell me more about this so what is it that you're doing because now they're open to this change that you're making. They want to accept it. They want to learn more about it. They want to kind of get with the program, right? Because you do have something amazing that you're starting with for yourself, okay? With the death card judgment and the ace of wands. And I just feel like whoever this is that had a problem, someone who liked things the way they were, liked things the way they were. So that could be an old way of doing things, like I say, some sort of tradition, um, or whatever, however the dy dynamic was, whatever the relationship was, whatever the schedule was, okay, whatever this is, they liked it that way. Because there is also a sense of, of power, of control, or um, yeah, just being comfortable with how things used to be, right? Um, and with the Empress that we saw under there as well, this could be someone that you have been kind of carrying in a way. And again, I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about grown adults who can look after themselves, okay? I'm not talking about anything else. But this is someone where you've been doing the work for them. You've been um, paying their bills somehow or supporting them somehow where they could do it for themselves. And so when you stepped away, they had an issue with it, right? Because they viewed that as you're taking from me to give there. But they didn't stop to think that actually they're not actually entitled to that resource that you've been giving them. You've been giving them that resource out of the kindness of your heart. They somehow got mixed up and started just expecting it and demanding it, right? And that could be where you said, you know what, I gotta take a stand here. You clearly don't understand and you don't appreciate what I've been doing, so I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm going to invest that resource into a thing or a situation or a person that actually sees it, values it, appreciates it, and reciprocates. So Pisces, whatever stand you took, it's working, okay? Let's see, Oracle Energy and Advice for Pisces when it comes to this situation. Because I can see it wasn't easy, and you might have you might have tried to do this before, and they talked you out of it, or you changed your mind because of how they reacted. But this time, you said, "No, 
it's got to end like I know I'm not doing anything wrong I know I deserve this I'm gonna go for it be fearless and bold badge your spirit that's what you did you took a stand number four stability foundation solid stand right nope I'm not doing anything wrong be fearless and bold spider spirit make your dreams real 56 it has to do with some new beginning that you've been working on for yourself okay or manifesting or you know you've been applying to things or however that resonates and it's finally time for it to come together it was finally time for you to get going with it and someone has an issue with it flamingo spirit embrace the in-between 26 you've been in limbo or you've been stuck in the situation with the devil and the six of cups um you've been trying to move trying to move away trying to change the situation trying to free yourself from it or trying to just change it somehow so that it also benefits you so that it's a little bit more balanced and fair um and you've like i said dancing back and forth because of how this person reacted every time you talked about change and frog spirit clear out the clutter 28 we keep seeing this card okay it has to do with completion ending you made a choice what was important to you what was valuable to you and everything else you're clearing out and if this is someone who yeah it's got again it's this feeling of them going okay i see you're not going to change your mind no matter what i say no matter what i do i see you're not reacting the same way you did before where i had more power in the situation to talk you out of something to convince you into something i see you're not backing down but at the same time i don't want to lose you I see that I'm well on the way of losing you and I don't want to do that so okay new territory death card judgment here new territory um, how do we how do we do this like how do we move on from the conflict how, mo how do we move on from the the tension um, tell me more about your way of doing things tell me more about this idea of yours I want to at least understand it better right so whatever stand you took Pisces it's working all right um and yeah that's that's what i have for us today hit that like button for me and let me know in the comments what this is okay who's this this person or this this dynamic or this group of people um that you've been doing this little dance with to the point where you said no enough is enough i have to i have to do this if you're never gonna agree to it if you're never going to support it if you're never going to be on the same page as me then i have to do what's best for me okay this six of cups with the devil is some sort of codependent or trauma bond or just unhealthy attachment to where they just really had their either really had their hooks in, in you or or again there's a sense of control of i like things this way you can't change them right um and every time you tried it did not go well but you ended up going back or you ended up trying to fix things or you ended up saying you know what it's not worth it it's not worth the argument I'll, i won't do it right but whatever this opportunity is for yourself where you're taking a stand whether it is that you finally have the strength and the courage to do so with the ace of wands and, and the, the hermit to go i'm if, if i have to walk this alone i'm walking it alone like that's not enough to stop me that's not enough to deter me um or if it's this amazing job you got or if it's amazing person you met or if this amazing situation you want to develop and continue to invest in because you can see it going places right um or your dream home or whatever this is right this could be where you want to pursue a line of study or, or get into some sort of program or educational program right and a friend a spouse or family member or the family dynamic all together are going you can't do that because you'd meet, you'd have to move away from us you'd ha you, we wouldn't see you like we would see you once a week and we don't like that right we like having you here we like you to take care of things when we need you to take care of things right and you really had to take a stand and go listen no i've tried this before and changed my mind or backed out um because of your reaction but no this is what i want to do i know for a fact this is what i want to do i know i'm not doing anything wrong i deserve this opportunity i'm going to give myself this opportunity and you are either going to be on board with it or you're not you can either see me once a week or you can see me never it's up to you right like you really took a stand and you did not back down and so now they're seeing the bigger picture and they're going well pisces isn't backing down pisces isn't changing their mind what we did before isn't working anymore so we're not getting our way and we're losing pisces so it's a case of well we're not happy about it right because you're in the nine of cups position you're like i'm doing it i'm doing the thing i don't care and then they're in the, in the four of cups position like 
I'm not thrilled about it, but you know, we gotta take what we can here. Like, something is better than nothing, right? Type of attitude to balance out that scale to come together. Um, but yeah, like I say, they're they're finally ready to entertain to learn more about what you're doing eventually they're trying to support it eventually they're trying to just keep you in their life however they can while at the same time just respecting this this stance you took this this boundary you placed because you haven't given them another choice right so yeah let me know how this resonates with you i really hope it helps have a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye for now